Hey everyone, my name is Vitaly, if you don't already know, and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you my personal review and experiences with Mediavine. As you can see, over a two month and change period, I've made over $3,600 with Mediavine, and the short story behind that is, Mediavine is an ad company that puts ads on blogs that you run, and in this case they put ads on this blog that I run, it's a travel blog called The Nature Seeker, and basically the more visitors I get to my blog, the more money I make from the ads that Mediavine puts on that blog and I've been doing pretty well with it very happy with what I see so far and I am growing my income and more so the point in addition to me showing you all this to say that yeah Mediavine works it's legitimate is to help you also get involved with this perhaps you're a blogger and you're interested in making money from blogging maybe you're completely new to this whatever the case is I want to share with you in this video certain tips that I've learned that can help you get started with this whether you're an existing blogger or a completely brand new blogger and so what I've done is divided this video up into four different parts. The first one is Mediavine 101, just giving you some basic info on this ad company. Then I want to share with you more details about my personal experiences with it and other ad networks that I've also dealt with in the past, like AdSense, Azoic, that kind of thing. Then I want to share with you uh, my personal tips for success with Mediavine. And then finally, what to do if you're a beginner at this, meaning a complete beginner to blogging. Maybe you don't have your own blog website. Maybe you don't know where to get started. You've seen people share these kinds of videos, these income reports. If you want to make money from blogging, I'll be sharing with you how you can get started with that if you're a beginner. So the first thing I'm going to sh start with is uh, Mediavine 101. It's basically an ad company, and like I said before, they take ads and they put them on your site, on your blog site that is, and uh, basically my blog site in this case is a nature travel site. It has a lot of rankings on Google. It gets a lot of visitors from Google. In fact, over the past year, it's gotten almost 400,000 visitors, and it is growing, and basically the more visitors my blog gets, the more money I make from Mediavine ads. That's the basic premise behind it. It's the same thing with places like AdSense, Ezoic, you may have heard of these other companies. They're basically like Mediavine, but Mediavine is considered to be like one of the top tier display networks uh, to deal to, to work with, and I can vouch for that after having dealt with that. Now that takes me to the second point of this video, which is my experiences with Mediavine and other ad networks. Long story short, in order to be uh, eligible with Mediavine, you can't just sign up with them and then boom, they're running ads on your site. They do have a certain quota that you have to meet. Your blog, in this case my blog, has to have at least 50,000 visitors or sessions uh, coming to your blog every single month. And so with me, around November, actually around late October, early, uh, early October, late September of 2022, I started getting thousands of visitors to my uh, blog every single day. And and that's when I started applying for Mediavine. And the application process took a little over a week. They were very professional, very courteous with me. They have a very nice staff. Um, and we got things to work really well. And on October 20th is when the ads started running. Now, in the beginning, I have to say that, um, let me just give you an example here. When ads started running on, the, on my blog, they were like almost in, in a lot of different spots. And I didn't like that at first because it interrupts people's reading ability. As you imagine yourself reading my blog here and there's just ad after ad after ad popping up in places where you're trying to read my text or look at my images. That's intrusive, that's annoying, and I was worried that this was gonna affect my rankings and my success with the traffic that I'm getting on Google because one of the parameters for Google is you have to have good content that's easy to read and if there's ads popping up interrupting that process you could potentially lose your rankings but I gave it more time and the good news is that Mediavine says it takes time but what they do is they organize the ads so it's not intrusive and that's exactly what happened because if you look right now the content is easy to read and there's ads popping up yes there's an ad over here, but it's not interrupting the reading process, the, the, the way that people can read my content. So the point being is you give Mediavine time, they do organize the ads, and it just it basically keeps your content quality high, easy to read, and it also kind of like, you know, doesn't mix things together to ruin that process. It makes it good and it makes it work together really well. So that takes me to the last part, which is my goal with Mediavine isn't just to make a part-time income through my blog. I want to make a full-time income with it. So I'm building up my traffic this year in 2023 and 2024 moving forward for this specific website. And I, I originally started it because I like to nature travel. 
and I just like the idea of like you know going into mountains and doing all that and having this thought in the back of my head which is hey my side is making me money while I'm doing this so it pays for travel cars uh, you know, rental cars, hotels, and all that kind of stuff. That's a really cool feeling to me. Now, I do also have other online business branches other than this, but I just wanted this to be that thing. Like, I can monetize my passion, basically. And so that's one of the reasons why I got into this in the first place. So that summarizes the second part of this video. Now that takes me to the next part, which is tips for success with Mediavine. Now, um, this is kind of an encapsulation of tips of before you start working with Mediavine to the point that you are already um, working with them. So the first one is it starts with your blog. You have to make sure that it's mobile and desktop friendly. Now, what I mean by this one is you. I use a WordPress blog. You may or may not have heard of it. WordPress generally has the best reputation for blogging websites. So if you're going to create a blog, if you're brand new, that is, I would recommend having a WordPress blog and especially having a theme on that WordPress blog that's mobile and desktop friendly. That's actually pretty easy to set up. But another thing to understand is you have to have a lot of traffic come to your site. I'm going to talk about that in a moment. So you don't just you know sign up with Mediavine one day and then boom, you're making a lot of money the next. You have to grow your blog to the point where it's making a lot where it's getting a lot of visitors and then it can make a lot of money it's kind of like you're planting seeds and you're watering them and all that kind of stuff now the second tip that I have this this is really really important is you want to blog about a niche topic that you love because I promise you there's a lot of blogging involved in order to get a lot of visitors to your website and that takes time and that takes a lot of blogging effort on your part and if you're not blogging about something that you enjoy your content is gonna suck more you're probably not gonna get good rankings and it's just gonna be a miserable time for you in my particular case I love to blog about nature travel so when I read a thousand two thousand word blog post to a lot of people that's like oh my goodness that's so much work to me it's fun because I live this so if your passion is something like mountain bikes or gaming laptops or maybe some kind of how to take care of a certain dog dog breed or something like that. That's what you want to create your blog on. Make sure that you are uh, blogging about something that you enjoy because it's easier, you're going to be able to blog more, and your content quality is going to be higher, and it just dominoes more into the path of success overall. Now more specifically, obviously you want to get a lot of traffic to your blog. That takes me to tip number three, and that is focus on finding high volume keywords. And there's two specific tips I have for that. You want to blog about popular topics on your niche that you chose. And number two, you want to blog about popular product reviews in the same niche. So let me give you an example with my personal blog. Popular topics. I blog about specific hiking trails that a lot of people look up, that a lot of people travel to, the best national parks and so and so place, uh, what to do in so and so national park. Basically popular nature destinations that I know get a lot of searches on Google. I blog about those places because I know I can potentially get a lot of visitors to my articles because they're also Googling those subjects. And that's basically how they find my site. And the second one is popular product reviews. I'll find maybe popular trail running sneakers or other kinds of like camera gear or maybe review a drone or something like that that I know is popular. The point is I chase keywords and search terms, which are keywords, that are just really super duper popular. Why? Because if I can rank for them, I can get a lot of traffic, a lot of visitors coming to my site from that. And the more that I get, the faster I can get to that point where I have 50,000 visitors coming to my site every month and therefore being eligible for Mediavine. Now let me give you another example. Let's say you're not into nature travel like I am. Let's say you're into gaming laptops. No problem, same idea. I like to use keyword tools that help me narrow down which keywords to target on my blog. And there's one uh, over here called Jaxi. So if you type in something like best gaming laptops, it'll give you a bunch of different keywords, but the top one, best gaming laptops, gets almost 10,000 searches a month. So if I have a gaming laptop blog, one of my blogs can be uh, 10 best gaming laptops for 2023 or whatever year that uh, or whatever year that's in so I want to make my title very fancy looking I use the keyword in that title and I can potentially rank for that just as well I can also blog about popular uh, specific gaming models like I found this one's called Razer Blade 15 it gets almost 5,000 searches a month again I can write a review about this Razer Blade uh, 15 review is it really that good that's a good title potentially rank for this get up to potentially 5,000 visitors from this maybe 10,000 visitors from that it's unlikely to be that much but the point is the more you blog targeting these keywords the more faster you can get rankings for those keywords, the more faster you can get traffic, and the more faster you can build your traffic base up to the point where it's Mediavine eligible. Okay, so that's a huge, huge thing to understand. 
Next, and this is probably going to be a controversial one, avoid AI content tools or hiring freelance writers that actually use them. So there's a lot of controversy behind that. It, it is basically its own subject. I don't want to get too deep into it, but I am not a fan of AI content tools. I don't really trust them. I believe in creating more personalized content, uh, not more entirely personalized content so all the content that I have on my blog is written by me personally or if I hire a freelance writer I'm gonna make sure that they're competent that they know what they're writing about and it's their personalized content that they're writing on my site I am NOT a fan of AI content tools and do not recommend them you're welcome to debate that with me I'll probably make another video about that subject in uh, another video in the future next give it time this is really important. It takes about a year or more to get to that 50,000 visits a month. And just in general, creating a blog that has a lot of success takes time. Maybe at least six months till it starts getting good traffic. Maybe a year till it gets to that point. For my blog, I didn't really start focusing too much on it until 2022 came along. And then I really started building up that content based blogging again and again and again. And the more you work on it, the more seeds you plant to your garden the faster the better you'll get results but it does typically take about a year so you have to understand that this is a serious online business that you're potentially building it takes time to build that business you can't look at this as a get rich quick scheme and that's why so few people are actually you know making good money from blogging because that they're, they're not willing to take it that far next Consider investing in a dedicated server, which is hosting for your site, when you're ready for Mediavine. So in my particular case, I was hosting um, my Nature Seeker website on decent hosting, but it was also shared hosting with other sites. And by the time I was Mediavine friendly, I upgraded my hosting to a dedicated server. So right now, my uh, Nature Seeker website is on a dedicated hosting. I um, pay several hundred uh, dollars a month for it, but the money that I make from Mediavine already pays for it, so it's an easy investment for me. Dedicated hosting basically gets you faster speeds on your site, better performance overall, and it's just like the elite. It's kind of like the Ferrari of hosting, if you will. And the thing about it is, um, one thing to note is that once you do start running ads on your site it is going to slow down your mobile speed so you, you want to have dedicated hosting to mitigate that slowdown and uh, uh, I'll tell you personally I have not noticed like rankings losses for my site um, and everyone else that I know that uses display ads Mediavine or other ones included they've also seen declines in their mobile speeds which is normal because when you put ads on your site it slows down your speeds but they've not no they have not noticed uh, like SEO penalties or anything like that so uh, I've been really happy so far you know knock on wood but the point being is um, it, it's, it hasn't been that big of a deal for me and finally um, the last tip that I have is focus on improving content on pages that get you the most RPM revenue so RPM means revenue per uh, well basically like for every thousand visits that your website gets or a specific blog post on your website gets how much it's earning so if I go to Mediavine over here and I type in uh, just a sec and not I don't have to type in I have to scroll down over here you're gonna see specific pages over here and it's telling me uh, this one got over uh, 6,000 views for a period of two and a half months and for every thousand sessions or visitors that it got I was basically making forty five dollars in ad revenue and you know you can see other ones over here so the point being is I look at the ones that pay me the most and it's usually a good average amount is like thirty dollars for every thousand visits I will maybe look at these uh, blog posts that I have maybe improve them maybe add some videos to it to improve the quality of the content maybe get more traffic to it from Google so I can make more ad revenue out of it so these are just basic tips that I'm sharing with you with regard to this kind of stuff but again it really all starts with having a successful blog that gets a lot of traffic none of these media vine doors open for you and none of these ad revenue opportunities open unless you have a blog that gets you a lot of traffic so that's really an important thing to know now that takes me to the next uh, and last part of this video which is what to do if you're a beginner at this now if you're watching this right now and you're a blogger you know what you're doing um, you're succeeding your traffic base is growing and you're looking to do media vine no problem go for it I hope this this video was very helpful to you But if you're watching this right now and either you have never built a blog you're completely brand new to this or perhaps you you have a blog but it's not getting traffic you don't know what you're doing you don't know how to succeed at this kind of stuff and you really want to succeed 
what I what I really really recommend is some kind of blueprint or program that helps you with all of this because you know doing blogging on your own when you have no experience is to try to like cherry pick from videos here and there including mine is not really going to get the job done you really need some kind of all-in-one program that gives you the training gives you the tools gives you the help to do all this kind of stuff and that's what I want to recommend there is one program that I consider to be the best above all for blogging for online business in general it's called wealthy affiliate they taught me everything that I know about online online business, including the uh, site that I run currently that has Mediavine ads on it. Uh, the, the Wealthy Affiliate Program is basically a program that sets you up with all this. They give you the training, they give you the tools, they give you the help, including from me, to build a successful online business. And they also have a lot of success stories. This is the inside of the program. A lot of uh, people uh, sharing their success, um, just like me. But the point being is, one of the reasons I recommend this program, well, there's actually a couple of them, six of them. They are risk-free to try. There's a link below this YouTube video. If you're watching this on YouTube and in the pinned comment, you can check them out risk-free. And uh, everything that's under here is all included in the risk-free membership. There's a five lesson starter course that helps you build a blog in your niche passion. I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. But I'm a big fan of test driving certain programs before you buy into them. There is an optional upgrade for Wealthy Affiliate, but you can test drive them risk-free and then decide what's comfortable for you. There's also community help and support from other members of the program. There's over two and a half million of them. There's many successful bloggers. I showed you a lot of the success stories a moment ago, myself included. You get my personal help number five inside the program. I've been doing this for long time so if you're you know the program is good enough to help you and so is the community but on top of that you also get my expert help and then finally there are upgraded memberships that are available after the, me the free uh, membership and uh, they include everything you need to build your online business they you know they help you build a website they provide you with that they provide you with hosting they do have an upgraded membership with dedicated hosting but I only recommend that you get that that's like their top tier most expensive one um, that you only get that after you're at that point where you're making the money but they do have cheaper memberships that are more than enough to help you build a successful blog the five lesson starter course helps you dive into this and let me just show you what this looks like if you click on the link that's in um, this YouTube video if you're on my site the link is underneath the video it's gonna take you to this page you're gonna click on start your free trial now you don't need a credit card then you're gonna go through this welcome video over here then you're gonna click on start training that's gonna take you through uh, this five lesson course and that's gonna teach you a lot of the process of building a profitable blog on something that you're very passionate about I've been using their training not just for this blog but to also build a full-time income from other online business models you can choose it to build um, a blog or other types of things but I'm just sharing with you that Wealthy Affiliate is really the best program for teaching you how to build a profitable blog so it can do Mediavine stuff so maybe you can do things like affiliate marketing build an online business in general if you're a beginner this is the program that's going to help you do that but overall circling back to Mediavine. I'm very happy with it so far, like I said before, and I intend to continue to use it and build other sites that also run Mediavine ads so I can keep building that other branch of my income. If you're just getting started with this and you're thinking about checking out the Wealthy Affiliate Program, stick to one thing first, which is building a profitable blog, then the money that profitable blog makes, then invest it into other layers of online business, which they also teach. So uh, that really summarizes everything that I wanted to share. Obviously, there's a bunch more details about Mediavine, but most people that watch Mediavine videos, in my experiences, are people that have not yet gotten to that point. And it's more important that you know how to get to that point before you know how to monetize after the fact. So I hope that this has been very helpful. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to ask me underneath this video. But again, I do recommend that if you're new that you check out that Wealthy Affiliate Program where you can get my help and all the training you need to build a successful blog to run Mediavine ads or whatever type of other online business you're looking to create. Um, anyway, thanks so much and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.